it wet like the weather I dig like a shovel, I'm digging you Say what up, she say whatever The keys in the strap on her dress I said she low, so be careful That nigga got cut off a set of Suckin' she fuck me so extra I told her that she be so clever I do not like regular And she hate me when she sold But she love me when she be kidding with Stella And ain't no other time for us better than right now I know you don't love me, but fuck, I want you Nothing never ever come between us. Between I us. know you can't stand me, love how you throw me, fuck like you love me. Ooh. They was like out here. This is where it's gonna come to fruition. I may not ever live to see it happen, but they fed it, they fed it, they fed it. So look at the situation. Now look at what we're doing now. You know, we're as a people. When I say we're, I identify as a black man. Fuck one drop. You know what I'm saying? Straight up one drop. But I see the duality of this shit. And it's like, man, every time we try to stop what was going on or every time we try to get out, it's not us that try to stop us always. It's them who try to stop us. And it's not even the, your neighbor, your white neighbor or whoever. It's their system, their program. Um, and that shit started thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. So if anybody thought that they were gonna change anything, that that has been established for a thousand years without any real program really so y'all have these conversations she gets mm -hmm. possessive mm -hmm. you nip that in the bud or do you let this go on for a while i thought it was cute bro you did okay so the sex got more intense she more intense hey more intense she stick her chest out she's more frequent you. It turns more intense to be more controlled. intense, more intense, more frequent. So required by her, required because she turned her she she turned she thought she was paying for me, bro. Let's 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 kind of okay. So this is this happened this this thing happened back when when, when the, when the yes, BlackBerry and when the BlackBerry came out, I was working in a place and I was working in a position that I shouldn't be able to afford a BlackBerry, right? And really, everybody where I was working at, they really couldn't afford Blackberries either unless they had a title, right? But you had one. So when I got mine, they was like, <laughs> fuck you. How do you get a Blackberry? You know, it ain't shit. But I'm just saying, like, I'm just observing how these, my peers, my peers are actually, they was peeping gang. They never listened to me when I talked about um, Minister Farrakhan. You know, they never listened to me when I talked about uh, the the national anthem, you know, because I talked to them with, about, with them about it, but I didn't debate them. I said, you know, I, OK, you want this individual to stand for the national anthem. OK, but let's talk about that. They didn't never want to engage me then. But when I got that Blackberry, now they engage me because they was counting my money. They was counting my finances. Counting her money. No, they, they just didn't no, know it. No, no, my money, bro. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what I thought. She made me think that's our money. So y'all kissing in the mouth. Oh, Are y'all saying I love you? Hey, hey, yeah. We still say we love each other. No, I meant. Yeah, like then, then, then moments, there, there did come the, a point. We're together, I love you. There, Not that yes, yes, love. yes, yes. There came a point. So I thought she was going to leave her husband. She was so unhappy. And I thought in my weakness and in my disillusioned mind that we could have everything that I was looking for. Yeah. Finally, I found a woman what? who liked variety, who was willing to, can you know, willing. I like an aggressive, controlling woman. But yeah, hold on there. An alpha female. Wait I won't say I won't say controlling woman, but Wait I like an alpha female. Wait a minute. I like an alpha female. I'm okay with her. Hold, hold one second. We gonna. I, I like second. to wrestle. That's cool. What? told you did you make that assumption that she was going to leave her husband or was she, she giving you those leads we she was she was working on a plan she y'all so y'all had this open discussion that she was working on a plan to leave him to be with you not to be with me so where did you get the idea 
She was going to leave her husband for you. Because I thought she was leaving her husband. Judging from her actions. I thought I thought You that, thought the plan was about you. How did you get that mixed up when you were talking to her? How did I get that mixed up? Because sometimes, sometimes feelings, mm. feelings, feelings get in the way of logic. Mm-hmm. All the while, she's telling me the fun part of what we're doing. And then it came to, we started being personal. Like, what well, we really think about shit. You know what I'm saying? You and I can have a conversation, but if you ain't in my inner circle, you ain't, ain't gonna know how I really feel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How I really feel about it. I may have to be, uh, depending on the platform, I may have to communicate a little uh, politically, speak politically correct. Um, but if you don't, if you don't know me, you don't know that. Damn, Jason was actually being humble right there, because we've had this conversation. And he didn't say what he said to me. How he, he paraphrased. He didn't. <laughs> there it is. I didn't paraphrase. Mm-hmm. Okay, but and so so that relationship. What I what what I was getting from her, what I was getting was what we're doing, and I it, again it was like long, you know at the end of the story it's like man duh mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but going through it everything she was doing was what I required of my female. Mm-hmm. Were you dealing with other females? Did yeah. you try to deal with other I tried females? to. I tried to. Unsuccessfully or successfully? No, it, it, it was... it was. And I mean without her interaction. At, at the end of the day, um, when I was a young man, man, I like I like variety. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm 44 now. I've never been married. Mm-hmm. I don't have any children of my own. I've never spread my seed. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I practice safe sex. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, that I'm not saying that I've never had unprotected sex, but I practice safe sex. No, I get, I get what you I don't. I, I've never, you know, done that recklessly. Now, what I'm asking you is, did you deal with other women in the manner? I tried to in the manner that you were dealing with her, though the intense sex. The deep conversations. I tried. There came a point where I tried to. So you couldn't split yourself with other women in her. It came to a point that you could. It came to a point because, it, like, I used to. Um, I'll, I'll tell you. You know, um, when you get a nut, right? That release. I remember when I was twenty-five and I brought a girl home from the nightclub, right? Like, we just been drinking, whatever. She was just random and shit. Like, I'm talking about five minutes. Boom, right? We came back when I was at school at TSU. We went back to my my apartment on campus and shit. We knocked it out. And soon as I got my release, I wanted her to leave. I wanted her to take a shower. I wanted her to leave. I wanted to take a shower. Damn, you let them take a shower? Yeah, bro, because at the end of the day, I want you, you know, wherever you're going, I want you to be clean when you leave here. But at the end of the day, that's what I wanted to basically either fucking take a shower, put your cl- get up, put your clothes on, get the fuck out of here. That's how I felt. And that was the first time. That's the first time that I ever felt like, you know, like that nut wasn't worth it. That's the first time I ever felt like it. You know, there was a feeling it was like, something wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Something, you know, not right, not wrong, but it it moved my it moved my spirit. Yeah. It was like, why would I continue to give this life force? And so then I get into this was shortly after that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This was shortly after. And I was like, I was stupid enough. Long story short, I was stupid enough. She was doing what she was doing. She approached me appropriately, straightforward, direct. But then things got a little more intense and she started wanting or I thought because of her actions, she wasn't saying, you know, you're my man, da, 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 but her action was like, so who is this? Who are you talking to? Why? Why? You know, because now, mind you, she's the one who popped me that blackberry. So she had access to all my shit. OK, hey, fellas, don't ever, ever, ever get on nobody's plan, bro. Get your own plan. OK, if your name ain't on that shit, bro. Space age pimping to the right and to the left. I'm just letting you know. Get on your own plan because there's so many dudes on the. You're so plan. stupid. If you if 
If uh, yeah, so what? So what? All she need is another. You can put your. You can get on her account. Really, bro? Do you really want to do that? If you don't want to do right, I'm saying, look at. If you don't want to do right, (laughs) this is is a fucking public service announcement. If you ain't ready to do do right, don't get on. That's real. That's so. Don't get on her plan, bro, because (laughs) because she's not fucked up. You're fucked up. Okay, you're fucked up when you get caught. Okay, and when you get caught, you're fucked up. And so the the lust is gone. You're you're past the hype. Y'all have spent more than a year of this back and forth. You're at a place two, at this point, two years yeah. at this point. Yeah. You're at a place where the sex no longer matters. Your feelings now are starting to guide you a little bit more. So involved. Okay. My, now my feelings they're, are involved. They're involved. However, they're starting to wake you up. Yeah. So tell me about the process of getting out, because I'm. That's what I'm here. Okay. You're working on getting out. Getting out of this situation. Um, realizing that it was actually a bad situation for me. It was good all along. It was a good relationship. Good situation for her. You, it, you know, it wasn't a good situation for her, but. She had a good, bad situation. You know what I'm saying? It, she had control. Um, she was the puppet master. And I was that alpha male. So I thought, you know, you remember the movie uh, in, uh, in Marvel? It was uh, with Ultron. Ain't no strings on me. You know, same thing. That's some Pinocchio shit. When, when the boy, when the puppet wanted to be a real boy. Okay, so like I was actually she caught me in that phase of I wanted to be a real man and all the while what she doesn't know she did teach me to be a real man Um, to be ready for the relationship to be ready for that Um, and to not like infidelity is wasn't so much about her lying to her husband me lying to any partner that I had it was me lying to myself. And ultimately, like we always had conversations about, you know, stop lying to yourself. And that's what led me to think in my stupidity that she was actually thinking about having a relationship with me. And in turn, what she was really growing to learn is to have a relationship with herself. Because she, again, like we said in the beginning, like I told you, you know, she this was her high school sweetheart. She didn't know nobody else, you know, biblically or even in her circle. You know, when I say biblically, you know, to know someone, it's like Adam and Eve. Adam knew his wife. That's what I mean by that in the context. And so when she started experiencing herself um, and started seeing what was going on in the world and listening to her girlfriends, you know, and everything, exciting thing that they got going on in their life, she fell victim to that and started pursuing that herself because, you know, at the end of the day, she wanted the variety is the spice of life. She wanted that mentality. Um, Not knowing what I learned is that, like, I like variety too. I got eyes, I see, you know, I'm an ass man. You know, I'm not so big on the tits or whatever, but, and I like a smile, I like beautiful eyes, but ultimately now I like conversation. You know, hey, stimulate my brain. You know, disagree with me from time to time. Um, And disagree disagree with me to the point of saying, you know what? If you don't understand what I'm saying, you're an asshole. You like that? I, you know, I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. It's not, I won't say that I like it, but I don't have a problem with it. What I like is to be challenged. Um, and that's what I had to learn is through my lust, you know, really that was a challenge. You know, challenge myself. Can I perform? You know, uh, not no pimpish shit. But some alpha male shit is like, can I perform? Or, uh, yeah, you had many lovers in your day, but just like the wind, they all blown away. Okay, <laughs> here I come around. You know, that type of shit, because that's what I grew up in and thinking. But then I also had a dad that I realized that I strayed from the, from the path of what he showed me because he told me about women like this. When they're not getting what, what they want, they'll use you to get what they need. And he also taught me when you're not getting what you want, 
get what you need. Because it was the same conversation we had about that that he te- that he said to me, "Hey, if you don't if you don't have a steady, you know that's what they called your know, a girlfriend back in the day. You ain't got a steady, okay? Then whatever your needs or your desires are, have someone to fulfill that. If you need that, if that's what you want, you want somebody who cooks and you want to be in in good company and feminine company. I'm a, I'm a heterosexual male. At the end of the day. I want to be in certain company. And and so I like a woman who cooks. I don't mind getting in the kitchen. I cook too. But I like a woman who cooks. Okay? And if even if she don't cook for me, I like her to be able to cook. And, you know, at the end of the day, those are those things that we go through. Find somebody who fulfills those needs. Well, through that, through that situation, I fulfilled her needs. When things changed is when things changed for her. And her understanding, because she actually told the truth, she was slumming. When I didn't do, when I finally didn't do what she wanted me to do, came to a point. And she said the most hurtful shit that she could ever say to, you know, someone like me coming from where I come from. is like, I know I don't come from money and I don't know. I know I don't come from. But you said. I knew I should have been slumming. I should have known better than to be slumming with you. But at the end of the day, the slums is where you got what you needed and what you really wanted to move you forward. And the slums is and and high society is where I got what I needed and what I what I desired so that I could move forward. The beautiful thing about it is we understood that at the end, it, part of our relationship was based upon lust. And that lust turned into um, commitment. And then that commitment turned into something tragic because were we really committed? You know, how stupid was I? If she's willing to do this to her husband, I'm just her boy toy, her boyfriend. And this is when I realized, I'm like, are you kidding me? You telling me I can't hang out with this person, that person or whatever, because it makes you feel uncomfortable? Hold on, you're married. You go home to your husband every night and you sleep in his bed every night. There was realizations that came to me. And it wasn't that I was judging her. I was judging our relationship. And that's what it came down to, is judging our relationship based upon how I judge myself and what I want. And how. And I was feeling like, yeah, we vibe and you challenge me and I like that. I just some, It was something new for me from a female to challenge me. I'm not used to that. You know, so I'm let not. me ask you this. On the way out, what was the greatest lesson you took from that entire? Because for you, it was definitely a relationship that was real yeah. until it wasn't, you know. So what did you take from that moving forward? Like, did it change how you dealt with women moving forward? It changed my whole life. Yeah. When it, when it comes to how I deal with women, really... Not even how I deal with women, how I deal with everyone. My brothers, my brothers especially. But yeah, with women. Like what, I what was the lesson you took I'm, from that hey, relationship? Don't be no liar. Don't. I'd much rather hurt you with the truth than comfort you with a lie. Going back to what my dad used to say. Don't, don't lie to them. Treat them all nice. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. But this is the thing, when it comes to lying to someone else, you're putting them under a false pretense. And and they're going to act foolishly based upon trusting you, trusting your lie. Well, that's, that's how I feel about my homeboys, my lovers, my friends, like my, the people that I care about. You don't have to lie to me about who you are and what you like, what, you know, at the end of the day, I can't judge you. I, well, I can judge your actions and your behaviors. You know, when we talk about a tree is known by its fruit, that scripture, I'm not a, a holy roller, Bible thumper, but there's some wisdom in that, in that. A tree is known by its fruit. A good fruit, a, what it says is a tree is known by its fruit. You don't get good fruit from a bad tree. You don't get bad fruit from a good tree. So you got to know yourself and don't betray yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's what it came down to is I realized 
even if, even if, when I realized she wasn't going to leave her husband, but then I realized, do you even want her to? Because if she was willing to do that to him, that's what I was going to ask you. What would she do to you? Did you think you was exempt if she had picked you after him? That was that was the greatest lesson. Is that that's why I asked if you had ever asked her if she wanted to be in an open relationship. Those I, I did. I asked her. I did. I was like, you know, hey, we can have fun because I've been in those. You know, I've had some great adventures in life. Like I said, never married. Don't have no children. Never married because really being honest with myself is like commitment. That level of commitment. Um, I like variety, you know, and I had what I, what I did learn is you can have variety and it doesn't mean a different hole. OK, I don't mean to be crash, y'all, but I'm just being real. It don't mean a different hole and how that feeling is wet and ain't wet. It, you can have variety in a many, in many of different ways. And I used to think that variety was performing or satisfying another female. That's what I thought when it came to sexuality, variety. But what did Chris Rock say? Man, you can have some old pussy and turn it into that new shit, or you can get you some new shit. Well, the wisdom is that is in that is that now I understand. You know what? I much rather take this old shit, this shit that I've been with for seven years, and be honest and say, hey, what we've been doing up until now, it's been cool, but let's let's Turn up. Why not? Let's let's elevate. Let's try something new. Let's rekindle. Have have you ever had something on your mind that you might not have been comfortable saying to me, but we've been together and you're saying to me, you don't want to go nowhere else to get it? I'm saying to you, trust and believe. I don't want to go nowhere else to get it. You know, I don't have to. If, if you are at willing least to, try it. Let's try something different. Let's do something different. You know, I love that shit. Go, let, hey, let's let me come pick you up. You know that that pickup game. We married, but let you go to the bar. You know what I'm saying? Role I playing. go to the bar, role playing. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to the bar. You know, there's so many ways that we can have variety in our own relationships. That what I learned from her, she was looking for something she wasn't comfortable enough to tell him. It was the same reason that a lot of my relationships failed because I wasn't comfortable enough to tell them hey well you know hey so when it comes to infidelity where do you stand now judging from how you went through that? where do i stand on it yeah um i understand it i don't i don't respect it you don't condone it at all i i don't condone it i understand it i don't condone it don't respect it um it is morally corrupt and it's not for anyone else, it's for self. You are corrupting yourself. You are morally corrupting yourself. And, you know, I don't know how that's debatable. I don't know. if Because it, infidelity it's is It's only lame. debatable because we're all humans. Right. Cut from and well, different well, I don't, well, I don't know why it's debatable if, if we don't converse about it, if we don't talk about it. Yeah. If I don't have my partner and I tell her, hey, babe, I like variety. And what I mean by variety is I want to, you know, enjoy different women mm -hmm. and have relations but in those, different capacities right right but but when but at the end of the day that physical thing man that physical release like i said when i was 25 there was a light switch that went on mm -hmm. that 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 i wanted her to take a shower and get the fuck out of my place i want to take a shower at the end of the day the reality is is that i felt empty mm -hmm. i felt empty okay for the first time like that realization is like slam bam thank you man bye I've been there, bro. And I felt empty. Yeah. And then as soon as I felt empty, I transferred into that relationship. And it fulfilled, it filled, it filled, it didn't fill my cup. So you had two life-changing experiences back to back, which ultimately turned you out to be a better person in the long run. Um, I hey bro, I don't know. I when don't know. I say a better person, you grew. I, I can appreciate Whether you were ready that. for it. Whether I can you were appreciate ready. it. Well, the reason I say am you grew I is better person. Yeah, I think I am. This is why I say I think you I grew. Am. This is why I say you grew. I'm the a better evidence, person for it. The evidence is in, this, in the hour-long story you told. The, I, think, the, the I, I that, think that I'm better for but it. But you're able to say to yourself, that shit was wrong. 
No, it wasn't wrong. It, oh, yes, it was. It wasn't wrong. The sex you had with another man's wife was not wrong. No. Nope, okay, wrong. here I was thinking you grew. Please tell me why you don't think that was wrong. All right, so remember, go back to the conversation that I told you. Like, I don't believe in right or wrong, bro. Okay, you just believe in being understood. I I believe I don't believe in right or wrong because I don't know what's right for you, what's wrong for me. See, it like a lot of people on the outside looking in who look at this story and say, like, you know, OK, I, I shouldn't have done that. Absolutely. But it wasn't wrong for me to do that because look at where I'm at now. I see okay? what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about right or wrong. It's about righteousness and righteousness at the bottom, at the base definition is doing the appropriate thing, even if it doesn't benefit you. So this is the story that I tell so you. So you're saying you were appropriately handling this man's wife behind his back with so all that, benefit so that, to you. So that, so that you and I can sit down today and, and not me be self-righteous. You're saying it aligned because you never knew you was going to be here. Okay, so, I didn't either, actually. Okay, and so because we're talking about this topic mm -hmm. from a man's perspective, absolutely, you know, and I don't want women to ever think that y'all don't go. They don't go through the same shit we go through. Yeah, men got feelings. I'm 44. I learned to deal with my feelings differently, and it took me longer to identify. Facts. Facts. All right, bro. Your story thus far has been enlightening. Nothing short of a blessing for you to be here, bro. I want to thank you once again. Um, if there are any closing words or anything you'd like to say to the people, go ahead and give them that right now. I always like to let the closing guests, words. Yeah, I, I always like to let the guests, you know, leave something positive with the people. All right. So I'll close with this. Um, love yourself in spite of and because of. Um, the Minister Farrakhan said between the alternation of the day and the night there's a sign in it for those who reflect i don't agree with everything the minister says i don't follow everything the minister says um but i believe in that you have to look at yourself and judge yourself accordingly. How I've judged myself, I'm perfect. I'm perfectly me. I can't be my dad. I tried to, try to do what he did, try to be the same man that he was on the surface and present to the public or whatever. Um, but I, I went through my own personal struggles. Now I'm 44 and infidelity, lust, um, desire, all of those things, um, those human things, those fleshly things led me to this point is denying my flesh. And there is a power that once you start doing that, denying your flesh, then you'll start nourishing your spirit because sacrifice is necessary. Um, we all want what we want, but if it comes at the cost or expense of another, do you really want that? Do you want it that way? You know, if you pass a test, you know, some of the kids, I know not, not a lot of kids are out here, but a lot of parents are out, out here listening to this. If you know your kid is cheating on their test, do you want them to come home and say, oh, I made an A on my test, knowing full well that they cheated or whatever, would you would you really give them the high five? That's how I looked at myself. I cheated on this test called life. That's dope. And I wasn't willing to give myself the high five. Now I give myself the high five because I reviewed the situation and at the end of the day, it's all up to me choices. No. I might not like the choices that I'm given, but I made a choice in every situation that I had and made some good ones, made some bad ones, but 
what was it, the, the TV show, The Facts of Life? You take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and there you have The Facts of Life. And so that's what I leave y'all, is that you take the good, you take the bad. Not what other people do to you, not the good, the bad they do to you, the good, the bad you do. And that's The Facts of Life. It always starts with you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have the brother Jason Garnett joining us. Thank you once again. If you didn't hit that subscribe button, please subscribe, like, and ultimately share. It blesses my platform 100% of the time. Uh, any comments that you may have, leave comments. Let me know what you think about the subject at hand. Uh, thank you all. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be right here with your boy on the Jermaine Hall Show. I'm Jermaine Hall and I'm out of here. Be blessed. She trying to back out I just reverse the psychology on her I know she won't back down She smoke a reefer She hit the weed and blow the shit back out She said she coming to get it like that Cause I'm blowing her back out Medusa dick turned to a stone Just a dog with a bone Roman find my way home Don't care if it's wrong Why do you scratch it? You moan Lorenz tied off Lil' Jones You by me alone I finesse it Trying to stretch it Trying to see how many licks do it take Put your leg up the brace With the bread on my face Wanna see how it tastes I'ma go to play the sideline, hit me on the weekend But she said she feel like a man fried on days when speaking I feel the same way, but don't tell her I keep the shit cool, call me mellow, walk light as a feather Big as she's red as the devil, I touch it, get wet like the weather I dig like a shovel, I'm digging you Say what up, she say whatever, the keys in the strap on the dresser Say she low hearts, so be careful, that nigga got killed off a settle Suck she fuck me so extra, I told her this shit be so clever I do not like regular, and she hate me when she sober But she love me when she mix any with Stella and ain't no other time for us better than right now I know you don't love me, but fuck, I want you A special bond, nothing never ever come between us I know you can't stand me, love how you throw me, fuck like you love me, ooh And ain't no other time for us better than right now I know you don't love me, but fuck, I want you A special bond, nothing never ever come between us I know you can't stand me, love how you throw me, fuck like you love me, ooh